Hey Aries. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with technology today, but um, this is for you and I have already opened up the cards. And by the time I wanted to save it, it stopped recording. So here we go, we're gonna start again. All right, Aries, um, before I start with your reading, welcome to all my subscribers. Thank you for stopping by. Info about my personal readings and everything else about this channel, go check out the, the description box below. To all my new viewers, welcome. And um, um, Aries, I wanted to also invite you uh, to follow me on Instagram, uh, Facebook, all the information is in the description box, okay? Um, and also remember that this is a general reading, so general, you know what that means. And I'll be picking energies uh, of uh, two parties here, you and the person that you're dealing with. You can pick your side, okay? It may or may not resonate with you. Okay, let's get started. So what do I have on the table right now? We have the Nine of Cups, King of Swords, Ten of Cups, Hangman, Ace of Pentacles, High Priestess, Six of Wands, um, the Devil, the Tower, Three of Wands, Ace of Swords, and the Page of Swords, okay? I wanted to just cut a new deck and, and um, lay new cards on the table, but it feels like this message is uh, for some Aries, the up Aries out there, so I might as well just redo the reading, okay? So in this situation, Aries, I feel that this is a connection where there's been some um, stagnant phase, you know? Things wasn't really working the way you expected it to be. Um, there could be some greediness of power here. There could be some mind gains. And um, it feels like, or for some of you, if you have been in a stagnant phase where nothing is moving, no one is initiating, there, all, there is also no progress about the situation. If there are problems, you're not communicating about it, that's definitely not functioning. Mm -hmm. And it feels like that in this situation. And that likely, the likelihood of ending a situation or a breakup is just around the corner. And as of this moment, I feel that in this connection, there is some, here we have the tower moment. So it feels like there is some sort of a breakdown here, breakdown in communication. Or for a connection, in a general sense, it's a disconnect. If it's a long-term relationship or marriage, it's an ending. It's 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 like um, change of the routine. Let's just put it that way. And this moment, you can see that um, the breakup is actually generating some bitterness, and I feel it's likely on both sides. Yeah, where. There was a lot of love in the past. Everything now has possibly turned upside down, you know. Whatever you have built up in the past have gone down the drain. And instead of showing love, compassion, kindness to one another, whenever you think about this situation, Aries, it feels like there's just, um, you know, it's leaving a um, bad taste, yeah. Or when you think about it, you can't even think about one good thing anymore. Bitter, yeah? You're probably bitter about the situation for some reason. And um, I see that you may be focusing on yourself right now. You may be doing your own, um, pursuing your own passion, you know? If you're the one who is kind of, um, you know, having some online uh, work, you could also be reading tarot. I feel that you are more focusing on that right now. Yeah, it feels like you are trying to enjoy with what you have, mm -hmm. and not really minding about the breakup, your disappointments, and it feels like you just don't want to um, really think about the situation. And also, the person that you're dealing with, this is someone who may have gone cold towards you as well yeah where they would only talk to you when uh, there is a need to otherwise there's lack of emotional um, expression as well 
yeah you're going with the flow here and uh, not really going with the flow but it's more like you are letting the flow happen on a day-to-day -day basis you are not pursuing anything about this connection you are not also retracting anything you are just doing you but it feels like this connection is slowly dissipating from your mind is slowly exiting from your life mm -hmm. the way i see it is the person that you're dealing with this is someone who may have had a you know by the time you guys have uh, broken up this is someone who may have gotten a new opportunity or kind of excited that hey things have um the stagnant phase with aries or you know that relationship for those of you who are divorced this could be likely it because i do see that someone here is more so excited about um taking on a new opportunity this could be an, an opportunity for a new connection an opportunity to have more um to get more attention from outsiders outside of this connection yeah it feels like this person is pretty excited to you know that that um the feeling of uh um the three months after divorce kind of energy yeah that's it that is also similar to after a breakup somebody would want to cope in in terms of just painting the city red and just enjoying the um, newfound freedom yeah while you on the other hand i think you're doing a lot of inner work mm -hmm. a lot of inner work yeah which is a good thing if this is resonating with you i feel that based on your cards here the more you continue doing that it's actually leading you to a path of receiving more upcoming blessings and these blessings are actually the ships that are meant to come back to you so this this is not just about relationships but more so you're focusing in yourself right now and whatever you are investing on would give back yeah to you and but by the time you have fully processed um the the situation and you're ready to start a new beginning that is based on um honesty something that you know you know you can really start on clearly without any negative vibes or or something like that this could be likely to that a new um newfound beginning yeah it could be a new love that is more truthful than what you used to have yeah i feel that that is coming for some of you um someone is there is an energy around you or possibly approaching you if you haven't met a new person yet someone who would appreciate you not just about your beauty but more so wanting to know you more mm -hmm. your personality what you are made of yeah not just on your external although this is someone who would be attracted to you externally but um this is someone who is more deep you know in in terms of what they are looking for in a relationship so it could be a new because ace of swords also can talk about a truthful beginning a victorious beginning yeah so this could likely be a more rather solid uh relationship that is uh coming in your past by the time they realize by the time they are done painting the city red or possibly orange during the hollow halloween time by the time they're done with that they will find themselves waiting on you yeah because it will just kick off kick off in or or sink into their mind that oh shoot aries has moved on or or things like that by the time you have you've moved on this person would realize that oh they finally left me and i see that um the person who is at that stage will end up waiting for you somebody who would even come back and say oh did we really break off um uh, is that breakup final i thought it was just a temporary break that sort of thing i feel yeah or well, whatever this is i mean you are doing the right thing now you are right thing i say because you are more focused on on yourself yeah and um 
with all this glamour outside, the more you are more focused about yourself, the more you can face uh, or you can welcome new energies, whether it be from an old person or from the new person, but then you are centering yourself actually, which is a good thing, which is a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> it's just funny that the person that you are kind of um, thinking about now, they're pretty excited um, after this breakup. It feels like, wow, there's a lot of opportunity. The world is abundant, a lot of fishes in the sea. That sort of energy, but they'll find themselves waiting on you by the in the in the next um, I don't know three to six months. By the time they realize that you have already moved on, and they'll end up just waiting and shocked. Oh, Aries has left. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna leave it at that. Let me know in the comment section below if this resonates with you. It's it's kind of a cutesy energy, but I don't know if. You know, if you're the one actually experiencing this, I know it is not fun at all. Yeah, but it's a process. It's a process. Along the process too, you will let go of those bitterness, which is the main, one of the main um, essence here. Yeah. Um, let me know. And don't forget to hit like and subscribe. If this doesn't resonate, you can check out your moon rising Venus and Jupiter signs and um, check out those signs in my channel. I do have those readings too. All right, bye now.